The Lumix S1 is an incredibly impressive camera with so many great features for video shooters. If you opt to get the upgrade key that's available separately from Panasonic, then for under £1,500, you can have a full frame cinema camera that shoots 6K internally and 5.9K raw externally with amazing IBIS, great color science, and all the video features that you could ever need. The only thing stopping the S1 from being a fully fledged cinema camera is the DSLR like form factor, but with a few additional accessories and some cine style add ons, you can create something that could easily give cameras way above this price point a run for their money. In today's video, I'll be breaking this incredible rig down for you guys so you can see exactly what's included, why it's included, and ultimately why it may be a good investment for you. I'll leave links to everything I speak about in the description. Okay, so let's start off with the core components that this whole rig is relying on. Firstly, we have the small rig cage for the S1 that is responsible for anchoring down pretty much all of the accessories. I have the S1 in this cage, and then the camera is attached to a small rig base plate that accepts 15mm rods. Between the base plate and the camera is a quick release plate, just so I can dismantle the rig quickly if necessary. I'm using 8 inch carbon fiber rods from small rig, and they allow me to attach the Nitsa N21D7V mount base plate just behind the camera. This base plate is super small and compact, so suits the rig really nicely. I'm using the Moman 99V mount power batteries to power both the camera and the monitor, and we'll get onto the cables that I use a little bit later. The top handle I'm using is just a basic rubber top handle from Small Rig that was super affordable, but I like the grip it gives me and the quality is really good. Of course, the lenses I use change all the time, but recently I've been absolutely loving the Siri 50mm T2.9 anamorphic that I just got, and there'll definitely be a video on this lens coming soon. I've got a small rig cold shoot adapter mounted on the front of the handle, simply because I prefer the positioning of the monitor to be in front of the top handle and not directly on it. And then the monitor I'm using is of course the Atomos Ninja V. This way I can output raw via HDMI if the shoot requires something a little bit more spicy, but can also just run it as a display when I'm recording internally. Since I always use manual focus when shooting video, I wanted a nice solution for focusing that wouldn't involve me physically touching the lens or losing stability in the way that I hold the rig. And this is where the PD Movie Air 2S comes in. There's a mini motor that attaches to a short small rig rod on the left hand side of the rig. And then it's powered by the tiniest wireless focus puller that I've conveniently placed exactly where my thumb sits. So I can pull focus incredibly easy without actually losing any stability while I'm shooting. The little focus wheel has a male quarter 20 on the bottom, so I had to get this little female quarter 20 to cold shoe adapter to make this work, but that only cost me around five pounds. The best part is that this wireless focus system is self-powered without the need of any bulky Sony MP batteries, and the setup is super quick and very, very simple. Okay, now onto the cables and power. So as I said before, I do power the camera and monitor using the V-mount battery, and to do this, I use two Zyte cables one of which is a dummy MP battery to DTAP, and the other is a dummy S1 battery to DTAP. These cables are fantastic, work incredibly well, and of all the different dummy battery cables that I've tested, these ones seem to work the best. To connect the monitor to the camera, I have a right angle to right angle HDMI cable from Alvin's cables. It's a perfect length for this rig and keeps things nice and flush on the side of the camera and monitor, so I'd highly recommend it. And then last but not least, I have the small rig modular mat box, which is really easy to attach and also allows you to use both circular and the normal drop-in style filters. So that's really cool. It's got a big old French flag on the front. So that means you can flag out that unwanted light too and just makes the rig look really legit. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it somewhat useful, entertaining, or interesting. And if you did, then please subscribe because I do make a lot of videos on this channel surrounding the Panasonic S series and L mount ecosystem in general. So if that's your vibe, then this channel will be for you. But yeah, thank you again for watching, and hopefully, I shall see you in the next one.